So the Heavenly Father placed in my spirit, your moments away. Your moments away from a breakthrough moment happening in your life. So don't give up. Now, before you receive this word, I want you to pray about it first. Talk to the Heavenly Father. This could be confirmation for someone that's watching. But as the Heavenly Father placed that in my spirit to speak on, to share with someone, he reminded me of a guy named Blind Bartimaeus in the Bible. In Mark 10, verse 47 through 48, it say, And when he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to cry out, and say, Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy on me. And many charged him that he should hold his peace, but he cried the more a great deal, thou son of David, have mercy on me. So what happened was when the people charged at blind Bartimaeus from, when the people charged blind Bartimaeus, instead of, Letting them. You see that, right? I, you know what? I'm going to keep this in. I'm going to actually keep this in. I'm going to keep. I, I don't know if y'all can hear it because I'm using the mic right now. But every single time I try to get to that moment of when the people try to stop blind Bartimaeus from reaching Lord Jesus, that horn go off. See that horn of representation that God heard you. That's what I just heard in my spirit. Before I bring this video to a complete close, I want to share something with y'all real quick. So before I ever do a video for real, right? I always ask the Heavenly Father to help me with my delivery. Help me spread the word of grace in such a way that it provides hope so people can know that God is still watching and he's going to help you get through your struggles and all sorts of stuff if you trust him, right? So as I'm doing this video, right, I promise you, this was the best delivery of the word of God that the father has blessed me with since I've been preaching the gospel only to realize the camera wasn't recording. And that made me so discouraged. And the heavenly father used that to teach me this. That's how it feels when you're moments away. It's going to feel like you haven't been heard. It's going to feel like you haven't captured the moment. It's going to feel like every single thing that can happen that's not good starts working against you. And you're going to feel defeated. And when that happened to me, right, when I realized it wasn't recorded, I wanted to just stop preaching. And I said, you know what, man? I guess it's just not my day today. I can't. <laughs> mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. I guess it's just not my day today. Mm. But the Heavenly Father said, don't let the circumstance stop you. Continue to have faith just like blind Bartimaeus. Continue to cry out to the Lord. Continue to push through when you feel like giving up. Because you might just be moments away. You might just be moments away. God might just be saying, how you going to deal with this challenge? How you going to deal with this circumstance? How you going to keep pushing through? Are you going to give up because people standing in front of you? 
Are you going to give up because you feel like you don't have the education? Are you going to keep trusting God when it seems like all odds are stacked against you? God said, you might just be moments away. You might just be moments away. So you got to keep pushing. Because it might be right there in front of you. And you might can't see it. Because God is saying, walk by faith, not by sight. See, blind brother man, he was blind. But he heard. He heard that Lord Jesus was in town. He heard it. He couldn't see. He didn't know that God can do this thing for him. But he heard faith come by hearing and by hearing the word of God. You might just be moments away. That's what I'm hearing in my spirit today. That's what I'm hearing, y'all. That breakthrough moment. That time when they challenged you. That time when they talked about you. That time when they closed the door in your face because they thought you wasn't worthy. You might be moments away. You might be there, y'all. But you got to keep on pushing. Don't let that make you give up just because an unfortunate circumstance happened. Just because it stopped recording. Just because you thought you couldn't deliver it the, the way that, that you did in the original form of it. Just because it didn't happen how you thought it was going to happen. God said, if you put your trust in him, he'll make it happen. He'll open that door that they closed in your face. He'll help you with your delivery, just like he did with Moses, because Moses had a speech impediment. But he said, I will use your brother Aaron to teach you how to deliver my word, my gospel to the people. When he said, let my people go. God said, he's going to free you from that bondage. God said, it's a demand, it's a command that you be called unto his glory. See, when the people got in Bartimaeus' way and Lord Jesus heard his cry, Lord Jesus heard his cry, and you know what happened? Lord Jesus said, I command him to be called unto me so that he may receive his sight. See, when God command you to be called unto his glory, nothing that was in front of you can stand in the way of God. See, after all that happened, when Blurred and Mayors got to Lord Jesus, the people had to say, be of good comfort. Lord Jesus have called for you. You might be moments away, y'all. When I was doing a video, this ain't never happened before, y'all. Every time I try to preach this word, deliver this word, I kept hearing the horn in the background. The horn kept going in the background. Every single time I said a word, But God said, it was a test. It was a test. Are you going to be dismayed? Are you going to be discomforted? Are you going to be someone that gives up because something is happening in your environment? Are you going to push through it? When the video won't record it, when the video won't record it, are you going to push through it? Whatever's going on in your life right now, y'all, I just had to get up here to let you know. God placed in my spirit to let you know. You might be moments away to that breakthrough moment of happening. But you got to trust him.
with what you can't see. Because sometimes your eyes can play tricks on you. So that's why we got to walk by faith, not by sight. Sometimes your ears can play tricks on you. So that's why faith come by hearing and by hearing the word of God. You got to believe with your heart that God is making a way in the middle of the wilderness. So keep on trusting and keep on pushing because whatever God bring you to, he will bring you through. Don't give up, y'all. Because sometimes when you're moments away, it can feel like everything working against you. But it ain't always the devil. Sometimes it's the God that we serve. Sometimes God is testing to see will you give up when you're moments away. So why give up? Because that's how close you could be. I pray this word bless you. In Jesus' name, amen. I love y'all.